CSI2140 and AMS Machinery Manager CSI2140 ODS model collecting data My name is Johan von Beimruck and in this video tutorial I will show you how to use the CSI2140 Machinery Health Analyzer to collect data for ODS and model In total there are two video tutorials about how to collect and measure ODS data with the CSI2140. In the other video tutorial we have discussed in detail how to configure the setup. In this tutorial we will collect the data based on the configuration we have made in the other tutorial. Just as a reminder keep in mind that conventions, direction and polarity of your shafts are extremely important in an ODS job you have a lot of flexibility in the way how you want to configure the things but in the other video tutorial we have made a convention and in this tu video tutorial we will collect the data based on that convention of course your convention can be different from that so what was the convention that we have made in the other video tutorial i will start collecting data in point 1 and then the convention is repeated here but that is explained in detail in the other tutorial and as long as I install the sensor in this direction I can collect all the data on those points so we will now switch over to the analyzer and collect data 1, 2 and 3 as soon as we go to point 4 or point 5 we have to change certain conventions and then we will show it first in a PowerPoint and then we will collect the data. So what you are seeing now in front of you is a home screen of the CSI2140 Machinery Health Analyzer. We go to F12 ODS model and here is the job that we have configured in the other video tutorial. So I will start the machine and I will collect data on the first point. So I simply push start to collect the data. And the data is collected and you see the reference 1 with the response on 1. You see the spectrum, the reference, the response, the coherence plot and the phase plot. There is more plots available. If you want to see more plots, go to switch plot type. And as you see, everywhere you can select the waveform and the spectrum of the reference, the waveform and the spectrum of the response, coherence plot, the phase plot, and the transfer functions in both directions. So here you see reference by response for point 1. If you go to next response, you will see also the Y and the Z. So this is a Y data and this is the Z data. Press enter to continue and point 1 is finished. You can install now the sensor in point 2 and collect data by pushing F1. If you want, you can review the data here as well. So 1 to 2x, next response the Y and the Z data. Enter and I go to point 3. On point 3 I install the sensor and I push F1 to start data collection. And also here the data is collected. Now as soon as I go to point 4 I have to change certain things so let's explain it first in the PowerPoint. So, if you're in point 4, you have to rotate the sensor and you will change the polarity. So, your input A corresponds to the conventional horizontal direction, so it's going to be associated with a minus X in the ODS. Remember from before, the X was in this direction, now your X is in this direction, so it will become minus X. It will become also minus y but still normal z so b so when i install the sensor in position 4 
for x and for y I have to make the polarity negative so how to do that on the analyzer on the analyzer I'm now at 4x so f3 I make it negative then I toggle to the y I make also the y negative and now I can collect the data you can also review the data for for y z and x and I will continue with point 0.5 but also for point 0.5 let's explain it first in a PowerPoint in point 0.5 the influence is bigger because in point 0.5 now the mounting direction of the sensor becomes completely different so now the mo mounting direction your channel A has to be associated with a Y your channel C has to be associated with a minus X and your B have to be associated with a Z so how to do it on the data collector on the data collector you have to go to change measurement input and now remember the Y has to be your A your X has to be your C and your B has to be Z so those two are now changed on top of that I have to make the X negative so I select here X make it negative and now I can collect data in point 0.5 also here you can now review the plots by F2 so you, you have X, Y, Z and the measurements are done for those five points we are now at the end of this video tutorial please visit our website at www.assetweb.com-mhm for other video tutorials and product information my name is Johan van Pijnbroek Thank you for watching this video tutorial.